Hey, get hey. I'm basically having a look at how to get the new buildings that they've put into the game into the map. Because if you're like myself and you play single player, they don't actually exist in the map. And for a while I couldn't work out what the hell was going on. But the way that you end up doing it uh, is you need to basically jump onto the patch notes. So on the play atlas thing, they've got some patch notes. And in here, you can actually see that the configuration changes that are required for private servers. Basically, this section needs to be placed into a server grid.json file. Now this is .server only.json, but I think it's slightly different. Um, what you can do is you can use the link here to download the server grid editor. Inside the server grid editor, you're going to look for Basically, I've downloaded it here and unpacked the grid editor into the thing. In the projects folder, there's the server grid.json. And then in your game file, so under common atlas shooter game, you will actually find a server grid.json. When I looked at that file, I made a copy of it just to back it up. It's from the 23rd of July, so it's a little while ago. I'm surprised that when they downloaded the update for the game, they couldn't update the file directly. But apparently they didn't. But so be it. So essentially, I just copied this file over the top of the one that existed, taking a backup of the original. And once I did that, I was able to basically get the new trade buildings into my map. Okay, so here we are in my game, and there's one of my trade buildings now. And when we have a look at the map, so this is my C7 grid point and you can actually see in the top left there's actually a, a marking called neutral and down below it looks like I've actually got two trade points on my grid so there's two neutral points and so we'll just zoom out on this map a little bit and you can actually see there's a lot of neutral points all over the place right and there should be a central one on now you've got to worry about this map this map is really buggy at the moment there's a memory leak somewhere but there should be a central island in this free port which holds the new vendor and there's obviously a, a point there, so we'll go and have a look at that in a sec. But to begin with, I want to see if I can attack. Well, yeah, I've got enough cannons. All right. All right, should be able to target this. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so yeah, and from a PvE and a single player point of view, uh, apparently you can wait, attack these turrets because if you try and loot the bank that's on the island, these things will start shooting at you. And so you destroy the cannons, and that will give you access to loot the the building, the, the bank building that's on there. Uh, from a PvP point of view, you can actually claim the island. Uh, at the moment, the PvE and the single player can't claim. Um, PvE is designed so you can't, and then P, for the single player, you can't build claim flags, so you can't actually take over the island anyway. And the way you actually claim it is to destroy the central tower and actually place a claim flag inside. We'll have a look at that in a sec. But first I'm going to clean up these towers and hopefully not die in the process because that's hitting me pretty hard. The other thing that's worthy of noting is that the bank right now won't actually have any loot in it because the trade routes and the marketplaces haven't actually been implemented in the game yet. And the only way that the bank will have money is if a trade route is active and it takes a cut of tax as such on the route. Right, let's crack this open and we'll have a look at the flag point inside. It goes down fairly readily, although I guess I've got fairly good cannons on this ship. Apparently you can't destroy the top part. Destroy the lower part. Right, but you can see the little square on the inside. I assume that's the flag point. Let's make sure we can't kill this top bit. Well, not even going to hit it. And I've run out of cannons. Right, let's quickly jump in and have a look. Well, it's fairly easy to get onto the island, which is nice. But yeah, it's a bit weird how the thing's suspended in the air like that. I think they should probably uh, do something about that. But this is the spot you'll put your claim flag, and so PvP people can take control. And then when the trade routes are active, you can come over to this building and uh, have a look at its inventory. And I'm assuming that there'll just be gold in there. Oh, and respawn already. Crazy. I'll break that down again and have another look. 
Well, I find myself in a strange position right now. Um, the building has respawned and I'm on the inside. You can't change it, so you end up being stuck. Isn't that lovely? And that's pretty much it. All right, well, I'm going to get over to the Freeport Island and we'll see if that island exists yet. All right, here we are over on the new island in the Freeport area. As so you can see, there's an island there, island over there. It should be an island to the south. And it's kind of hidden, but there should be one over to the north as well. Hey, there it is. So we're here on the D9 Freeport. It's right smack in the middle of all the islands, there's this new tiny little island. And this guy's just a crew recruiter, so he's nothing of interest. This side, yeah, this side also has one. So it's identical on each side, that side and this side, you have a new vendor. And this vendor is the ship salesman. And he has nothing in his inventory yet, but this is the guy that is going to be selling ships for gold. And they haven't implemented it yet, but they've obviously put the new island in. But that's about it. And again, if you haven't made the changes to the JSON files and the server grid editor and all that sort of stuff, um, you won't actually have the ability to see this island. So you need to do that to be able to get to this place. Uh, and that's about it really for the changes that they've made. Um, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more. I mean, I thought it was a fairly major announcement, but all they've really done is put the islands in without the functionality. And so they're going to put the functionality in later. So that we'll get the marketplace and we'll get the trade routes in an upcoming patch as well. But right now, no, they're not available. You can basically have a look at the new islands, possibly could claim them, but that's about it. And then obviously here, you've got the new island in the Freeport, but again, it has actually nothing yet. So we'll just keep an eye out and wait to see whether the new stuff comes in sometime soon. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.